Ocala, Gainesville, The Villages, 1370 AM, 96.3 FM, The Source. Just about five minutes after 10 o'clock. Thank you for tuning in. Nice looking Monday, huh? Considering how rainy it was last night, right? Um, we have in the studio Lisa Marie. Um, I'm going to hear some beautiful music from her. I was introduced to her by herself. She wrote me, and uh, I guess we have a friend in common. I mm -hmm. think Tony, right? Yeah, Tony, Tony. Tony Jones? Okay. And uh, so you are a Christian singer, yes. songwriter, correct? Yes. Singer, songwriter from... New Jersey. New Jersey. All right. Robin Sun lives Originally. in New Jersey. Originally. <laughs> uh, Robin Sun lives in, what's the name of the town? Uh, Clifton. Clifton. Well, I'm from Jersey City. Oh, nice. Yeah. Nice. Well, nice, to, nice to have you in the studio. Thank you. Thank you for the opportunity. And you brought your guitar. Yes. So you're going to be playing today? Yes, I'll play bit. one of my songs off my CD. Okay. All right. So how, how long have you been doing music? Uh, well... I've been right. I'm a writer. I've been writing since I was about seven years old. Is so that right? I started, yeah, I started writing a lot of, um, you know, different things, trying trying to write different stories and stuff. But I never really thought about writing music because uh -huh. I'm a published poet also. Uh -huh. So I uh, I started doing, you know, I belong to St. John the Baptist Church and uh, Catholic Church in uh, Denellen. Oh, in Denellen, okay, yeah, okay. great church, great pastor. Father John is our pastor. That's the one there. right near the, where 40 meets 41? Yeah. Okay, yeah. I know. And um, my, my pastor decided to start a contemporary mass a while back um, for the kids, and uh, I wound up singing in it. And um, I, I just, I wanted to play an instrument, so I started playing the ukulele, and I loved it. I, it was great. But then I wanted to further it, and then we had to stop the mass for, we had to stop the mass because um, we just didn't have enough uh, priests and stuff to go around. But um, when we, we stopped the mass, we'll bring it back again eventually. But when we stopped it, I just got this, you know, this, it was just like these feelings to write. And I started writing my own stuff. It started nice, coming nice, back to me again. Nice. And I started getting this, this uh, stuff. And I wrote, within almost a year's time, I wrote 30 songs. Wow. Oh. Now, you said it came back to you again. Does that mean you were writing when you were younger and for some reason you stopped? Yeah, I guess like writer's block maybe, you know. Uh -huh, I uh -huh. stopped. I, I mean, I started writing, but I took a lot of my songs that were poetry and I made them into my, my songs that were... Um, where po my poetry I made into songs. Uh -huh. I just transferred them into songs, and then I came up with the music for it. So, so the, you, know, you brought a guitar, not a ukulele. So, how, how was the transformation from ukulele to guitar? How did that happen? <laughs> it was hard because you, this, the, the chords are different. It's, I mean, the ukulele is a lot faster, and it's it's a little different. I mean, I, I try to go back to it once in a while. I change it, but most of my songs are are, on, are with the guitar that uh -huh, I have. Uh -huh, uh -huh. But um, you know, I started coming up with this stuff and most of it is uh is christian contemporary and i do do some liturgical music from my church when they ask me to i do some music explain from, uh, what that word means um it's the ch it's the church music that they do like in the missile oh, oh it's the normal like church yeah, stuff yeah. you find in the in the hymnal that kind of yeah, thing yeah yeah that okay. kind of stuff okay. i just okay. but i just play it with the guitar you know because oh, most of well, that's it that's probably beautiful yeah, it's I, I I try my best to do what I mean. A lot of it is based on the organ and the piano when they write a lot of the notes for it. But right, you can right, right. you know if you can read music, you can. Yeah. Play anything and did you basically. study music? Um, um, I studied a lot. I had a lot of inspiration um, from um, the people in the band that I was in in the church. Um, you know, one of my friends, she was a band director, Maureen. She helped me a lot with. Um, she helped me a lot with um, how to read music and how to, you know, do things, how to read music, how to play. You know, there's a lot of things to do. Tell me the story of Jersey City to Denellen. How did that happen? <laughs> oh, God. Well, my whole family's from Jersey City. My, uh -huh. my mother, my husband's with me today. And um, we all, we just moved like eight times in Jersey before we decided to come down to Florida. And, and you, how'd you find Denellen, though? Uh... It was weird because my uh, my friend is a, a realtor here, and she, we came down ah, here, okay. and we were driving around. We looked at about 50 houses, and I was like, 
Dinellin? There's a Dinellin jersey. You know that, right? No. There's a Dinellin in Jersey. Really? It's spelled different. Oh, okay. But okay. we looked around and we saw this one house here and it was like it just called out to us. It was perfect for us. Uh, my father and mother moved down with us. But my father passed away five years ago from oh. um, kidney failure. Oh, my goodness. But he... Um, so you when know, did you move? When? What? Nine years ago. Oh, okay. I've okay. been here nine years. Almost ten, actually. And um, it's... It's it's a lot different. I tell people, you know, from you, when you're from up there, when you move down here. But yeah. I really love my town. Yeah, I sure. Love I love Dinellan. It's a Dinellan great too. little yeah, town. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm away from everything, but if I need anything, it's like eight minutes away. I don't have to drive too far. And um, I mean, I'll never forget where I came from. You know. So uh, are you are you playing? Can you tell me who? Like, how did you end up with the the, the Christian genre of music? Did, were you influenced by other Christian artists? Well, yeah. Um, um, I well, I was influenced by God basically because that's um, my faith is very strong. My Christianity, um, I belong. You know, I'm in a lot of ministries at my church, and um, and I basically started when I came down here. I started listening to Joy FM and um, uh -huh. Air One, uh -huh. and I I really like the music, the Christian contemporary stuff. Of course, I like the church music too, but I really got into that because I like rock. I like rock music and stuff. So I got into that and um and I just started I just started getting inspired. I was getting inspiration to write this stuff and um and then I I I started writing my own music and you know trying to keep up with what I was hearing on the radio. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So my music was comparable to their theirs and I wrote and produced copyrighted all my own stuff. And you have some CDs available? Yeah, H they're did... not available for sale. Oh, they're not. Right now. Okay. Okay. No, okay. but okay. those I made for you. Oh, copies. well, that's so nice. Um but the uh the two songs that I gave you were on that and then the one I'm going to do today um I have I'm living with some health problems and a lot of times I'm inspired by that because of living with that a lot of my music is is um aim towards that because I feel there's so many people out there that are suffering from so many things in life mm -hmm. that it, you know, I'm hoping to touch some people with my music, you know. Well, can you touch us with it right now? Sure. You got your guitar here and uh, <coughs> this is called um, With Your Love. It's it's off it's about five minutes long. It's off um, my second CD, Grace Heal Your Soul and um <coughs> You okay? Yeah. Okay. This one was basically... Is, do you, would a different chair help? <clears throat> no, it's fine. It's actually good. As I walk on this beach, I stop. And pray. I ask for the straight to go on another day. I feel so alone. Somehow I lost my way. Promise me, Lord, you will always stay. Fill Question this life, why do I live in? 
is for your light to guide my way with your love 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 Wonderful, gorgeous voice, too, by the way. Pretty, pretty stuff. So Lisa Marie is what you go by. Lisa Slattery is... Lisa Marie Slattery. Lisa Marie Slattery. Lisa Marie Slattery. <laughs> but okay. I go by Lisa Marie for recording Lisa purposes. Okay, well, that makes sense, yeah. Yeah, I just like it better. <laughs> yeah, people know, yeah. People know who you are. So so in where would we hear you? Just in your church? Um, well, um, I'm actually on Facebook. On my Facebook page, I have a, a fan page, Songs by Lisa Marie. Okay, okay. Um, if anybody goes on Facebook, I have all my videos on there so they can hear all ah, of my songs. Nice. Okay. And I post other stuff, you know, where I'm going to be performing. And um, I think I should have a slot at Jazz Up the Nell in this year. Oh, um, wonderful. I contacted them. They said it should be okay. Oh, really? Oh, that's always fun. Give me fun. a time slot. Yeah, I never did it before, so it's going to be fun. Um, what is your Facebook again? I want to um, type it in. Songs at, um, I'm sorry, Songs Songs by Lisa Marie. Okay. Because the, the website oh, is different. It. That's okay. just songs. But you found it? Okay. I think so. I think so. That's a fun festival down there. I think you'll enjoy yeah, it. Yeah, I go to it every year, but I've never been that type of recording artist where I could say maybe I can get up there and perform all my songs. But, mm -hmm. you know, I wrote, um, I actually have one I wrote for my dog. It's called Molly Malone. It's it's on oh. that CD. It's pretty, it's pretty fun. Your dog? Uh -huh. Yeah. I and the that's one that fun. you listened to for my father that I wrote. That was beautiful. Yeah, yeah thank you. Yeah. That's the one I wrote. But, you know, I'm inspired to do some other stuff, too, when I can. But I try to stick with, um, with whatever. Does the I'm dog like the song? Yeah, she loves it. <laughs> actually, when she, actually, I play it when she goes crazy. When it's thundering and lightning, I'll start playing her song for her. Really? <laughs> oh. And does, does it have an effect? Uh, yeah, actually, my dogs love it. A lot of times when I'm practicing, I have three of them. Uh -huh. And when I'm practicing, I'll, I'll just practice in the house playing acoustic, and they just come and sit around me. Oh, neat. So they like it. It calms them down. By the way, I noticed <laughs> you're, you're a left-handed guitar player. Mm -hmm. Is that was that Was that difficult to find a guitar, or did you... <laughs> 
make did you t- change a normal guitar to be like, I, I how do you do that uh, it's very hard i when i first started out i wanted to start out with a, a a light easy guitar but because of my you know i just had the back surgery so i can't have anything heavy so um i said to my husband if you're going to get me something for christmas <laughs> If you could find me a nice left-handed guitar, and this is actually a travel-sized guitar. That's not a full size. And it plays like a normal guitar, and it's light. And this was a lefty that I found. Nice. But most of the times what you do is it's really, any musicians would know when you flip the strings around, it's it's annoying because if you get a righty guitar and you change to a lefty, a lot of times this doesn't fit right. Yeah, the pieces of the strings go through. It's off the sound completely. And then you go to get the strings changed, and they're like oh god I gotta put I gotta put strings on a left a right hand guitar I gotta change it to a lefty they hate doing that mm-hmm. <laughs> so I said you know what let me just get a left hand the guitar it's easier um, so tell, tell me about the other things that you, you've done in your life is uh, music what, what do you do what's your do you have a job um, not right now so, but I'm going through surgery and everything but um, I just I I like to volunteer a lot at my church. So music should be your job. That's what I think. Um, hopefully, <laughs> I mean, see what happens. Make some money selling some songs. Yeah. And, and and is there anything? So you you're going to play? Is it called Jazz Up Danellen? Jazz Up Danellen. And um, I contacted the uh, chamber. I'm waiting for them to get back to me with the the slots. And they might be too early right now because they got my information. When is that? When, it's when in October. This, it's just they just do it once a year. Yeah, oh. yeah, they do. You know how Boomtown? They do Boomtown. Yeah, Boom yeah, Danelle yeah. And is, it's all it's all different types of music. Oh, okay. And um and it's really fun because I go to it every year and they put like the the musicians. It, it's it's to showcase local artists and that's what I want to do. Ah, that okay, way, there's okay. people that haven't heard my music that if they want to go and hear it, you could just pull up a chair. You can go to different musicians. There's all different musicians everywhere so, in the town. What it's about the Pennsylvania Avenue? They block off Pennsylvania Avenue, mm-hmm. and then you just walk up and you go see different musicians yeah that sounds fun yeah and what, what about your poetry are you are are you published in that regard or i have a couple of stuff that was published up north in jersey i have a book of poetry that i did uh, a lot of that stuff is is a mixture of everything it's like i just whatever came to my mind at the time that i wrote um I was on a couple of different pages like Poets United and all these other things where I had people judge my stuff and um, I got really good feedback from my poetry. So, Do you, do you have any plans of uh, forming a band or having any other musicians um, support you? Not at this time. I mean, I'd rather, right now, I want to figure out who I am as an artist. I mean, uh-huh. I know I want to do contemporary music, but I want to get all my songs together. And then maybe in the future, wherever God leads me, that's where, you know. Does I'll anybody be. else in your family sing or, or play? Um, not that I know of. Oh, no? yeah. My, actually, my cousin up in New Jersey is a guitar player. He's been his whole life. Ah, and uh, yeah. and he's, he's been playing, too. I don't know if he still plays, but he did in my family. But um, not that... Not not that my my mother's side the um uh, my mother's side up in new jersey they uh i have a couple of cousins that also play they're musicians um do you write out the song out, out the words first and then put the music to to it or does it vary with it whatever you're feeling it depends if i i mean a lot of times you know i'll get inspired by something i'll see hear something or see something i say that would be a good song i mean real quick i'll tell you a story about um Jesus, I trust in you, the one song I sent you. Mm -hmm. Um, I was at church um, one day during Mass, and my pastor was uh, doing a homily. And the homily he was doing was about um, trusting in God and if you trust in him. And we have this statue, the Divine Mercy statue, behind him. And I kept looking at that statue, and I kept something kept telling me, make a song out of that. That would be a great song. So I listened to what he was saying, mm-hmm. and I put that together, and I came up with that song. And it's actually a pretty good song, I think. So it's, it's, yeah, uh, right, right. Yeah. <laughs> so I like, I like it. I like the way it came out. So um, you know, I get inspired by different things. There's a, there's a lady who has come in here. She's uh, the wife of the man who owns the Dairy Queen in Silver Springs. Oh yeah. She's also a Christian singer. You might want to maybe meet up with her and yeah and just swap notes. Yeah, she yeah, probably okay. has some gigs. Maybe you could be on the same bill with her or whatever. Sounds good. I mean, you're really good. She's, Thank you. She, and I think you two would uh, probably hit it off. She's from the Philippines. Oh yeah. Yeah yeah. What's her name? Do you know? Gemma. G E M M A. Adams is her last name. That could actually yeah. be Italian too. <laughs> Gemma. Are you, oh, is, I could. Are you Italian? Yeah. 
Yeah, I'm so, Italian. So let me ask you, do you do you get good pizza in Dun Are you kidding? <laughs> From the north? Come on. <laughs> well, what is the answer? I am a good cook, though, which is great. <laughs> so the answer is no? There's nothing in Dun Uh There's really nothing. Ye, ye old sub and... Wait, what's yeah, it called? Yeah, yeah. I mean, we have good restaurants. I don't want to say anything sub. bad about the restaurants in Dun yes. We got good <laughs> restaurants in Dun Ellen. But, but, I mean, as far as what we're used to up north, you know, there's nothing close to what we're used to. <laughs> what about Ocala? How, do you spend much time here in Ocala? Uh, well, my doctors are over here. But, yeah, when I, when I come over to the or whatever. There's a lot of great places and here. Pizza here? What about Ocala? Um, are you going to say, are you kidding again? Are you actually, kidding? I go to a couple places, but I don't, <laughs> would you, can you recommend anything? To us? Yeah, there you go. <laughs> not recommend. on the air. No, I can't do it on the air. But <laughs> that's kind of funny. It's just, it's just that. As far as food, I love Cody's. They're my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh, okay, there you go. There yeah. you go. So, so tell me, how did, can you tell me about your um, your personal life? or are you? Uh, um, how long have you been I'm, married? Uh, married... 26 years. 26 years? Wow. February 2nd will be 26. You don't look old enough to have a 26-year marriage under oh, your thank belt. thank you. <laughs> wow. I just turned 48, actually. Wow. <laughs> um, and, um, you know, I'm married. Like I said, my mother lives with us. And, um, Do you have any children? No, I don't have any. I have three dogs. Which Three which, dogs? And you wrote a song about one of them. What's Molly the matter? Malone. What's the matter with the other Molly two? Malone. No, they they're don't my get a song? babies. I didn't, well, uh, maybe someday I might write one for them. Is Eight, this a whole album? Yeah. Oh, it is. Yep. Well, thank you. You're welcome. That's the first one I did. Everybody has that copy. But the other one I just did, that's my new CD I just came out with, the one under that. And your songs are very emotional. How do you manage to keep your emotions in check when you write the songs? When I write mm. the songs, it's very hard to do that. When I when I put the song together and I come when I come up with it, especially when I'm recording it, I just have to think about something else so I don't get too in depth into the song you know especially the one about my father that mm -hmm. I wrote because I knew that would be good because I figure a lot of people could relate to that you know people that lost their dad sure. or mm -hmm. whatever yeah, yeah. and it did people told me that you know so what did your dad do for a living uh, he had his own business up in uh, Jersey we're from Jersey City yeah I know so he what, had his he had his own business up there for what, years what did he sell uh, it was like an Italian deli a deli see that <laughs> well no wonder expert. your food is particular <laughs> Oh my gosh! Did you tell Joe your dad was owned an Italian deli? Yeah, I told him. He's oh from my gosh! Yes. Yeah, I run into so many people. I can't believe how many people in Dunellen are from New Jersey. There's so many people, and everybody thinks I'm from Brooklyn when they because my yeah, you got a little bit heavy. of a Brooklyn accent. But because, how'd that happen? Well, because Jersey City is right across the river from from New York, so we're, we have more of a heavier accent. I guess so. I always say yeah. Jersey City people have their own language. <laughs> <laughs> have their own lingo. <laughs> when I when I use my Google search, it always comes up with all different words because they can't understand my Jersey City lingo. <laughs> <laughs> you know, as long as I lived up there, I've only walked over the Brooklyn Bridge twice, and once of, once was with Robin. In fact, the very first time I ever did it was with Robin. Yeah. yeah, yeah, we went up there just to do that. You are a wonderful mentor to the young people because sometimes they have these barricades in front of them where they're. Friends or family will say, well, no, you know, you should get a real job or something. But you encourage them to practice and to write. And that is to be commended for you. You've got such a great personality about you. And you are willing to share that talent with others. Thank you. I think uh, the one thing I would tell you is just get heard. Just let people hear you somehow, some way. And, and I think that little flame that you've got going is, is going trying. to carry this you. This is the first step. Yeah, this is a good first step. This is a real good first step. Um, yeah, meet some people. Uh, if you have a chance, go to Dairy Queen and ask uh, for Ron. And, or Gemma. Gemma is the lady I'd love you, for you to meet. Yeah, um, I will. And, I'll look her up. Yeah, and, uh, and and let us know when you're playing someplace. Just send us a note. and Send all the radio stations a note. Say, hey, I'm going to be playing at the Dunellen Jazz or, or anything that we can help you with if we can help you spread the do word about Do you guys go music. over there? Do you guys do jazz yeah. at Dunellen? Mm -hmm. Well, you sometimes, yeah. All right, I'll let you know. if I Once I get the time but Even if we don't do it, we should still talk we, we about it. We do promote it. All right, we, we definitely. Will promote yeah, it and yeah, because talk I'm probably going to wind up, if I get like an hour slot, I'm probably going to wind up doing almost all my songs that I did. Plus mm -hmm. other, I do remakes too. I've done remakes of other people's songs in my own way, you know. <laughs> not do you do me. Christmas songs? Yeah, in fact, um, I actually did, wrote two Advent songs the past oh. week. I just did them. I just came up with them out of the blue and I just, and they're actually ready. I don't know them. I have to study them a little bit because the words are different in both of them, but 
I just came up with two advent. I plan on trying to make a Christmas album. I like to try to do a Christmas mm-hmm. album mm-hmm. with my own type of thing. Nice, oh, that'll nice, be nice. wonderful. Yeah, if I do, I'll send you guys um, some of the music. Mm-hmm. And and what I was the reason I was asking is because I think Danellen has uh, a Christmas thing they do in Rainbow Springs, right? Don't they invite artists to play over there? Yeah, they yeah. do. Yeah. yeah, they do. They do Santa over the rainbow. It's oh, called. Santa over the rainbow. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah that's right. I, yeah. I go to that every year. Mm-hmm. That there is. That's right. There are artists. I was there. just thinking that might be a nice thing to that's, be part that's of. That's a too. good idea. I didn't think of that. And the Will McLean thing is that still happening? The yes, Will? that's still happening. The Will McLean Festival. Will McLean. every spring. Yeah. yeah. Oh, thanks for all the uh, information. I Lisa, you're so it. sweet. You are a joy to, to have in Thank the studio you. as an interviewer. Beautiful singer. I love your songwriting Thank you. style. Uh, good luck with everything. Thank you for sharing your music Thank with you us. Thank you very much. I appreciate um, it. So tell us again how to look you up on Facebook. Um, it's um, Songs by Lisa Marie is the web page, and uh, that's where all my music is posted. Okay. And... Um, down the line eventually if once my songs become available if anybody's interested in any of them i'll let everybody know how absolutely yes lisa thank you for coming over here and letting us uh sharing your music with us lisa marie thank you thank we'll be you right back much. this is WOCA ocala fox news radio i'm chris foster Two of the 14 people shot along a street in Toronto, Canada, have died now. A 29-year-old man with a pistol fired into restaurants and cafes. Mayor John Tory. I can just say to people that they should uh, try to stay calm while the police do their job because we have to figure out what happened here. We don't know. The gunman died after a shootout with police. President Trump on Twitter claims about an FBI warrant obtained to conduct surveillance on a campaign advisor suspected of conspiring with the Russian government. It was all about getting Trump. Republican Senator Marco Rubio doesn't think the FBI did anything wrong, telling CNN State of the Union. I don't believe that, you know, them looking into Carter Page means they were spying on the campaign. I also don't believe it proves anything about collusion. Adam Schiff, the top Democrat on the House Intelligence Committee, says the FISA application shows the FBI had legitimate concerns about Page. Fox's Rachel Sutherland in Washington. 